This is the green wood Propton Limbras is bringing you to Bukit Tima and we are heading on to this cluster house enclave. Greenwood completed in 2011. Beautifully designed resort theme cluster project. If you're looking for a strata landed living with four levels within a $3 million mark with five bedrooms, this will probably be the right one for you. Let's go. Alright, so right now we're on level 1 of the green wood and as you can see, this is a beautifully designed resort theme kind of strata living here but I think in order to fully experience how it feels like coming home every day we definitely have to start from the driveway through the basement, you park your car in a private garage and then we'll head up into the unit, so let's go Something about the green wood is that the moment you drive in you'll notice that security is 24 hours you have a very nice grand entrance right there. After the drop-off point, technically the entire level is child-friendly and safe for your kids to run around because there are no more driveway into the project itself. You will then head straight to the basement parking level that will bring you to your unit with two private parking lots. So I like the way how this car park is being designed because it's all nice and bright. Basically, you drive in. If you notice, the driveway is very generous. A lot of cluster houses, when they're developed, most of the time people complain that the basement parking is a bit dark, it's a bit narrow, but not for the Greenwood. I think it's fantastically done. This is the house. So as you can see, you can generously park two cars without having to squeeze through. So you still have a lot of leeway to go. Just like what our neighbours did, you can put in your shoe cabinetry on the left and right side of a main doorway. It's of course one of the first times that I see such a huge grand door at the basement car park because most cluster houses, the basement door is usually pretty small. It's just like one half of this size. So this one, you have a grand door and then you can head in. I love the basement. I think the basement is just so important. There are four levels right here. Level 1, 2, attic level plus. Basement for cluster houses is important because that is the part that you come straight from your private parking garage. I love the fact that there is this under stairway storage room also. So pretty deep. You can put in a couple of stuff inside. And as you come here, there's another secret compartment. Our owners have chosen to use this as their laundry room so as you can see the washer come dry is all deck at the bottom with this top laundry tabletop system for you to do your ironing plus uh, some storage options for your toiletries on the left and right side as well and not forgetting the home shelter pretty decent size so that's your second storage room and there's a common bathroom right here in the basement level as well so if we were to look at the floor plan this is actually the entertainment zone. First thing is that this house has a very unique feature because not all the layout plans in the Greenwood has this airwell portion into the laundry yard. Some of the units, they stop right here. Basically, this is a wall. But this unit has an additional portion right here. This is the part that you can put in your washer come dryer, use the entire space for natural clothes drying. The airwell is great. The sunlight comes down to the basement. So the entertainment zone is fantastic because you can use this as a place to put in your theatre system, mount a TV on this wall, put in your subwoofers, watch your movies late into the night without disturbing your family that is living on level 1, 2 and 3. Alternatively, use this as your home office. You can put this as your computer room or a study room for your kids as well. Multiple usage and we love the ceiling height. This is great. Let's head out to level 1 first. I'm going to share more with you on the green meat. Alright, so the green wood is on a 103 years leasehold status starting from the year 2008. This was completed in 2011. This is technically 10 years old from its completion date. It was developed by Far East. These are all strata landed properties in another name is called cluster houses as well. Now, coming back home, 
you need to drive past Dunran Road and of course the moment you drive in you will bypass Hillcrest and Greenwood estates in terms of its landed enclave. This entire zoning, these are all either pure landed properties or cluster landed homes. For this house right here, the asking price is slightly below the 3 mil mark. To get something below 3 million dollars in D11 is extremely difficult, especially if you are looking for a strata housing kind of concept. Let's uh, take for example, you are a family that is coming onto the Bukit Timah enclave because you are looking at an apartment let's say you want a three bather or maybe a four bedroom kind of condo apartment because the kids are going to be scooped right here and you realize that you need to have at least a high two male kind of budget some apartments are even going at three or three odd million dollars for a three bather inside of the freehold condo projects right here if you're talking about four bedrooms then definitely that will inch towards the three and a half million or maybe up to four million dollars mark if you look at the pure landed right here freehold status inter terrace 20 years old land size about thousand six plus onwards minimally you need at least a 4.8 million dollars they are all at a high force closing to five there is also another category which is the 99 years pure landed these are all going at about a three million dollars mark those are some options as well and then that would take us to the cluster housing pricing right here so if we compare the 99 development that's within this entire enclave you have the greenwood right here which this unit is asking at slightly less than three million dollars you have greenwood mills which is newer because that was top in 2016 also on 103 years leasehold status that is starting at four million dollars for the developers unit you can head out to the hillcrest portion that's much closer to the main road top also in the early part of 2010 the cluster housing right there they are already inching at close to about 3.2 million dollars right now so i think looking at all these options this house right here great space for a family to own you have to pay a mcst fee money all you need to do is to take care of the unit internally because everything else outside leave it to the mcst so if we look at where we are at the Greenwood, we technically form a triangle together with 6th Avenue MRT station and Tan Ka Kee MRT station. From here to walk out to Tan Ka Kee, definitely it will be a slight short distance. That's about one odd kilometers. Probably that will take you about 15 to maybe about 17 minutes. Slow walk right from this cluster house development. And if you drive, you will come in through Hillcrest and you'll bypass this entire row of shop houses which is where a lot of residents right here in the landed enclave do their grocery shopping and their F&B. So the moment you come upstairs, this is the kind of space that you get and a lot of people when they come to the grill, they realise that the living and dining zone and the open kitchen and the wet kitchen, in terms of its proportion, the design is planned so well because you get such a good amount of space at every zone. So in the living room, it's quite seldom to see a cluster house having this kind of size in terms of width and depth as well. Most importantly is that you have your dining space right here together with your dry kitchen and wet kitchen. And we love the fact that because of its modern design, there's a lot of brightness coming in from the glass panels right at the front and at the back of the house. So we also like the dining space because this dining space is currently having a six-seater right here. Estimated, you can go up to about eight-seater. You can also put in some storage options right along this entire wall. If you want to build a built-in carpentry for an entire TV console, that's also doable because the ceiling height is pretty generous at about three odd meters. Right now, there is this nice dry kitchen right here with a little bit of concave portion over here. You can put in probably about three bar stools for a morning breakfast. If you notice, there's this hidden portion here that our owners has actually put in the dishwasher right at this corner. And of course, there's a sink on the island top. At the same time, storage options right at the bottom over here. Bloom hinges, pretty good stuff. The entire kitchen are all done with Cooper's Bush appliances. This is of course your oven system and you have a lot more storage options right at the top, at the side and of course at the bottom as well. Currently, this fridge space is big enough. You can still upgrade your fridge. This is a two-door Electrolux at the moment. There's still a lot of headroom and side room as well. We like the fact that there's also a sliding panel for a heavy cooking option. 
Right now, this is a six burner system. Six burner is pretty rare nowadays. The hob is also done with a nice sink right here. These are all units with a nice ventilation towards the back. Usually for cluster houses, the back will be usually a back-to-back -back kind of design. What's most important is of course your front part. If you notice, there's already a lot of natural canopy done at the front. There's also a back door option right here that you can walk out. So this is also another space that is very useful. Use this space probably for a little bit of natural clothes drying or maybe some storage options to put in your bicycle and stuff like that. This is the level one bathroom for your guests. For level one, you still have this granny room. It's not easy to find a granny room in a cluster house concept on level one itself. If you have visited most cluster housing, a lot of the time level one does not have a granny room for some of the developments. So this is a great add-on. Now if your parents are living together with you, this is a great room for them. You can put in a nice size, queen size bed right here and build your wardrobe system right on this wall itself. It's also very easy access for your parents to head on to the dry and wet kitchen. Alternatively, use this as your stay at home home office. Use this as a kid's study room as well. And that's fantastic because everybody's on level one. You don't have to shout at your kids from upstairs. They can do their work here after school and everybody can stay on level one until bedtime. Meantime, I'm gonna pass you to Kenneth and he's gonna show you a lot more. Alright, so now we are at level 2. I'm going to show you around the rest of the house. Melvin has already showed you the basement and the ground floor. So there are 3 more floors from here onwards and 4 more bedrooms including a roof terrace right at the top. So come! Master bedroom here is pretty amazing. When you come inside here, there is a walkway leading up to your main master bedroom itself so it has this very hotel like kind of feel where when you open the door actually nobody sees straight into your bedroom area so right now we have a king size bed in this room and even a sofa so based on my wingspan alone if you were to take a look from this end to the other end actually this master bedroom is very spacious over here there's also a very huge panel window this one allows in a lot of natural light into the bedroom itself so if I were to actually turn off all the lights the room would still be very bright when you open your windows this actually feels like a balcony and on this side what we have is actually two huge wardrobe panels probably one for the husband and one for the wife why I say so is because actually on this side it's a walk-in wardrobe like kind of concept so you can actually walk inside here you have a L-shaped kind of cabinet so I think this is probably for the ladies but I mean for guys who have more clothes, you can take that side as well. <laughs> this side would also be the other side of the wardrobe. So I think what's great about this master bedroom is also the master bathroom. So the master bathroom over here is done up in full marble. I think the developer has put in a pretty interesting kind of basin. It's huge and you have two taps so you have one for the husband and one for the wife, yeah, I think this is great. And also they have separated the shower and the washroom. So the shower on this side is huge, I mean it's spacious. You have like three separate, no four, four separate showers. You have two ring showers and two handheld showers. You also have like a, this step down shower, which actually is, can be used as sort of a bathtub. So I think with the windows, it's great because the master bedroom would then not have a very musty or damp kind of feel. And of course, over on this side, you then have your bathroom, which is actually very hotel-like because rarely you see the, the WC within a, a glass enclosed area. And of course, over on this side, you have uh, your storage drawers. So I think this is something that is very nice, very nicely done. Let me take you over to the Junior Master. So Junior Master itself is relatively spacious as well. This one is a queen size bed. So a king size bed would leave still room for your wardrobe over on that side. And over here you have a bay window area. And uh, over on this side we are facing towards your neighbour but I mean it can be easily done by frosting up the, the 
class. The junior master bathroom, you actually have glass and enclosed shower, shower, rain shower, handheld shower, and you also have storage cabinets here. Very huge, huge ones. And you also have storage cabinets right below the sink. A lot of uh, natural light comes in, but if any issues of privacy, you can, the blinds are already put in over here, or otherwise you can frost it up as well so that it's permanently covered. Alright, so for level 2, I think level 2 is great because the master bedroom and junior master are on this side which there are some projects where the master bedroom is located right up at the attic. So I think actually it's quite good because for the husband and wife, they actually don't need to climb all the way uh, up to the attic to get to their bedrooms. So with that, let me take you up. We'll head up to the attic level where there are two more rooms and the roof terrace. Come! I need to talk about this stairwell because right at this level you have a skylight right on top which allows a lot of natural light into your stairwell area so and also even on this side they have windows that can be that we can slide them open so actually this area can can be naturally ventilated so I think some landed houses or cluster houses the stairwell area can possibly tend to become a little bit warm and humid because there's no ventilation but I think this is great because if you were just to check out the windows, it's actually at the sheltered roof terrace so rain will definitely not come into your staircase area. Alright, so here we are at the attic level. Attic level, we have two bedrooms on the right one on the left. So one of the bedrooms on the attic level, if you notice, they actually have this slanted roof kind of pattern. So I think it's something that makes it feel very cosy. It also has two huge windows on both sides. So this room, if I were to turn it off, it will also be very bright. And right now, we put in a single with a study table essentially over here. You want to put in a queen size, it's definitely possible as well. And then of course, over here, you have your wardrobe space. So all these are all nicely done up, so everything is still relatively in good condition. Common bathroom is spacious and it's actually very new because the tenants before this, they never really used this level in the house. So everything here is very new. It actually feels like it came straight from the developer. So you got your rain shower, your handheld and then of course storage over here. I think what's also good about this uh, bathroom is that it has huge panel windows. I think the developer has very nicely put in in all the bathrooms, very well ventilated bathroom layouts and also huge windows. So I think it leaves bathroom very uh, crisp and very fresh. <laughs> Okay, and here we are at the last bedroom in the house. So just to recap, we have five bedrooms here. This is room number five. I think what we've seen so far are five possible bedroom ideas but of course for this room I think what can possibly be done is to convert this maybe into a home office you can definitely convert to a study area actually you can even convert this into an, a gym that leads out to your outdoor terrace this outdoor terrace here is something that is the space is very functional, it's not a small one, it's also not one that is uh, overly big. The roof terrace is partially sheltered, so you have half of it which is sheltered on this side, and then you have this one which is open to the, to the sky. So I think this area is good for, uh, of course, entertaining guests. If you play mahjong, uh, but don't play too late because I think this was set. This is set up like a mahjong kind of fashion. But anyway, this one you can definitely do an outdoor gym kind of concept. You can set up your cycling machine out here, or you can even put in a if you do a... Uh, what sport is that? Boxing. Uh. <laughs> and if you do martial arts, I think this area is actually very good to do some, you know, some sparring. And if you are looking to further maybe enclose this area, actually what can be done like our neighbour is to put in a retractable awning. So then this entire area will be enclosed. So for this area, I think it's very good for social gatherings or you have friends coming over, relatives. You can even do a barbecue at this area as well. What's also interesting for all the units at the Greenwood is that each unit here comes with its own solar panel. So you just take a look at the roof, each of the unit here comes installed with a solar panel and with the solar panels, it will help to ease some of your electricity bills. Alright, I hope that you have a good tour with Kenneth and myself and we'll come to almost the end 
of this home tour. So just a recap for you, buying this will be something pretty similar to what we have been talking about, which is the Apex Triangle to hit a lot of sweet spot. The sweet spot that we see here is that the overall quantum for a good amount of space there's a 3,000 odd square feet, it's at the $3 million mark. Per square foot is below $1,000 and of course, you have that five bedrooms, five baths, over four different levels for 3,000 odd square feet. I think if you want to have a look at this place, give Kenneth a call. The number to our listing manager, Kenneth Tan, is right here. And there's a link in the YouTube channel for you to subscribe to our Telegram channel to keep yourself updated as well. And as well as thank you for the support for liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you want more details on this particular strata landed, Click on the link to our landing page, we'll show you a lot more over there. And of course, if you come for our physical viewing, there's also a lot of information that Kenneth is going to share with you. Once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Propter Lim Brothers. As always, we're happy to show the place. Meantime, take care. One, two, three. So right here in the master bar. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> and over here at the bathroom in the attic level, you have very beautiful windows that open out to the sky. That is already going at a minimum. In terms of... <laughs> facade is beautiful. Why oh, I keep hitting that thing? And here we are at the last 